Hello everybody, uh, my name is Joe Petruska, part of iTeam Bill Gates, and uh, today we're going to look at Photoscape version 3.5. Uh, in particular, we're going to look at the fish eye distort and the radial blur distort. Um, so to start, uh, let's, uh, let's get a picture. So what I'm doing is I'm just dragging a picture right in here. We got some delicious blueberries. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come down here to filter. We're going to select distorts. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select fisheye. Now as you can see, the blueberries seem to have grown in size, uh, substantially actually. Um, if we scroll the lens value back a little bit, you'll see that they actually shrink. And if we put it down to zero, we can see what the original image was like. So what you really want to focus on is you want to kind of focus on the center of the blueberries. This is where the fish eye effect will start, and this is really what's going to get the most emphasis, this, this area right in the dead center. So let's say we throw it all the way up to 90%. Got some big old blueberries. Let's put it back down to 50%. That's pretty much it uh, when it comes to the fisheye lens, um, or the fisheye effect. Um, for this particular subject, mm, might not be needed. You might see this used in practice more uh, on people's faces, um, just to kind of give it a, a different effect, a different feeling. Let's close that. Now the second thing we're going to look at is the radial blur. So I'm just dragging in another image. Uh, this image here is just a, just an image that I had on my computer. Um, what we're going to do again, very similar to the fisheye, we're going to select filter. We're going to select distorts. And then we're going to do radial blur. Now the radial blur is, uh, is actually a little bit CPU intensive. You can see it's kind of chugging along down here. Uh, and my CPU usage has uh, skyrocketed. It's, it's actually at 100%. But as soon as it actually uh, renders it, it does start to come down a little bit. But if you make any changes to this, it's going to have to re-render again and again and again. Um, yeah. Let's take a look here. Let's uh, let's let's put it down to two to start. The radial blur is good when you want to simulate some action. Um, something's moving or spinning. Let's uh, put it up to fifty. It seems that the higher angle that you set it, the more CPU intensive it is because it's, it's got more calculations to do. This photo is probably not the best photo uh, to really demonstrate this with. Uh, I only selected it because you can really see the difference between the original photo and what uh, a radial blur effect will do to a photo. still going. And there you go. You can't even, you couldn't even tell what that picture was at this point. That's pretty much it. That's the fisheye and the radial blur. I hope you guys learned a bit. Thank you.